the access system. A thorough understanding of the access system will simplify your force analysis and force vector analysis. So how we can define an access system? Suppose you're going to write down from zero to plus infinity and from zero to minus infinity and then connect all those numbers with a straight line you will get a line like this which has an origin at zero here and two ends which are leading to infinity this is called a number line and otherwise a one-dimensional axis you have only one dimension here any point on this line you can define by a single number if you say 10 you have a point 10 here somewhere here if you say a thousand you have a point thousand somewhere here if you say minus 23 you have it somewhere here any point on this line you can define with a number the important thing to note in a number line is on either side of zero that is extending to infinity from zero to positive infinity and from zero to negative infinity so that is a number line and that is a fundamental line of an axis system it enables you to define a point anywhere in the line with a single value. Now, if you have two number lines running perpendicular to each other, then that makes a two-dimensional axis for convenience. Let's call it X axis and let's call it Y axis. Again, as in the previous slide, it originates from zero, extends to positive infinity and negative infinity and positive infinity and negative infinity. So you have positive values here, negative values here, positive here and negative here. And that requires you to have two values, that is the X value and the Y value to define a point in the axis system. Say minus two, 10, which is X and Y. So minus two here and 10 here. So you define the point here. Similarly, you can define any point in the space with two numbers. Remember, these lines extends to infinity. So you don't have limits. You can move anywhere in this line. Similarly, if you have three axes or three number lines, which are perpendicular to each other, then that makes, that creates a three-dimensional axis system where you need X, Y, and Z coordinates to define a point. So this is your X axis, Y axis, and your Z axis. So again, from origin, these axis extends to infinity. So you can literally define any point if you have the three coordinates. So this will enable you to define a point in the space. And because these are extending, these axes are extending to infinity, you can define a point anywhere in the space. So if you have a cube like this with X, Y, 
and z axis you can define any point in the cube with these three coordinate values and you can move this plane to infinity you can also move this plane to infinity remember this line extends to infinity and that is a case with all the six sides of this cube you can move these planes to infinity that will give you the freedom to define any point in the space with an infinite number of choices so that defines an access system and how we are going to use the access system in engineering mechanics Suppose you have a force vector. Suppose you have a force vector here, which has got a magnitude of say 70 kilonewton and a direction of theta here. So how we are going to use the axis system for the analysis of this force? As I said before, you have infinite choice of axis. So if you draw a complete axis here to join your force and you draw your next axis to complete the force complete the axis that gives you the freedom to analyze the force so your force is creating an angle theta with the x-axis or 90 minus theta with the y-axis so now you can analyze your force which we will study in the next module as I said before because you have the freedom to move anywhere in the space, you don't have to worry about uh, any force at all. If, if your force is at, an, at a different angle, say like this, which has got a, a direction in this way and let's say it's 80 kilonewton, you don't have to worry at all if you, you, because you have the freedom to move your axis anywhere. Now you have you have the choice of selecting your access system like this and your origin here now you have your x-axis here and y here you you have a theta with the x-axis and again any minus theta with the y-axis so the analysis of forces which we will study in the next module but this is how we are using the access system in engineering mechanics or so this is a primary use of an access system so you need to understand a couple of things in the access system primarily an access system comprises of number lines which has got an origin and extends to positive infinity and negative infinity in a two-dimensional access system you need x and y parameters or x and y coordinates to define any point in the access system similarly in a three-dimensional access system you need x y and z coordinates to define a point and this is how we are going to use an access system in the analysis of forces and force vectors we will study that in the upcoming videos